Hello, Calculus Gang. Today we will be tackling another problem. So looking at this right off the bat, we have identified our different values of the lengths segments. So that is shown here. So since this problem wishes to optimize a theta value, it will be a trig problem. So go back to your notes and try to solve this problem based on your trig notes. Okay, so the first thing we should do is set up our unknown variables. And as we know in a trig problem, these unknown variables will be the y component of the value affected by theta and the x component, forming a triangle. So from here, try making the two equations. All right, the first equation will be area. Let me do that in a cool color. So area equals we are looking at this, there's a rectangle and two triangles. So let's do a rectangle, 6y times, or plus, I mean, so this triangle will be y times x over 2, but there's two triangles, so it's just yx. So that's our first equation. Now, the next equation is law of sines. So hopefully we are recapped on law of sines. So we are going to demonstrate this in a separate model to the right. So going here, we have our triangle and we have this value of theta we wish to know. And what is very important to realize in a problem like this is that this value is always 90 degrees. So from here, we can realize that value is 90 degrees so this is 90 minus theta, and this top part will just be theta. So from here, we can go on with our lengths since we know that the hypotenuse of this triangle is 12. So let's go on with law signs, setting our proportions equal to each other. So 12 over sine 90 equals, this is the x component, x over sine 90 minus theta, which is equal to our y component, so y over theta, so over theta. So we have set up our um, equations. From here, try to um, write um, the area equation in one unit. Now to writing the area equation in one unit, we will find that before we want to do anything, this sine 90 is just going to go to one. So we don't even have to worry about it. So moving this there or that there, we will discover that first of all, there needs to be a sign here. And second of all, um, y equals 12 sine theta and x equals 12 sine 90 minus theta. So both x and y are in terms of theta, which is great because then we can just find the maximum value of that. So let's go in and plug those back into this equation. So going down, we are plugging this into the equation. So green seems like a nice color. 6 times 12 sine theta plus y, 12 sine theta times x, 12 sine 90 minus theta. So now we have written our little area formula into one variable. So try finding the maximum value of this. So Going into Desmos, we're going to type this out. First, we need to put this in degrees because this is what we're in. So we get six times 12 sine of x plus um, 12 sine of x times Twelve 
12 sine 90 minus x. And from here, we can zoom out and find our maximum at 53.625. So now you are done with the problem from here um, if you write in complete sentences. You are done with the problem here if you write in complete sentences.